Many of you wanted to see where I shop. Many of you wanted to see how I shop. So I did a little video. It's not long, but it's actually video of the store of where I shop and items that I see while I'm there. So if you would see anything that I should have bought that I didn't, please let me know in the comments. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this video because I have many more coming just like it. Here's a little look at me thrifting in the store. We're at the thrift store. This is the garden section. Goes on and on and on. And I always check to see what they have. They have these house stars for $1.97. That's a really good deal, but I don't really have any spot for them and I don't want to ship them. This planter right here, I'd already gotten one like this from my girlfriend. It's in my office with a plant in it, with a wire vine in it, and I love it. So the price on this is 67 cents. That's coming with me. And then I just sold a bottle like this and it looks like it's 99 cents. That's coming with me too. I decided I was gonna try and fix this up real quick with that chip right there and I'll show you how I plan to do that. I have DIY black wax and a paint pixie brush. I don't what I don't clean my brushes. Do you? Let me know in the comments. I just put a little bit of black wax on there and I'm gonna go right over the base of this. So it's all gonna be look the same. I don't think I'm gonna do the whole thing. I think I'm just gonna do the base, but we can do the whole item and make that chip blend right in. I didn't do anything to this. If I would have sealed it, it probably wouldn't be absorbing quite so much. Where's the chip? Right there. Now when you have a plant in there, you won't even notice. I think we're gonna go on, we're gonna finish the rest of it in black wax. I'll let you watch. These jugs are really cool, but they want $19.97 for them. Same for this one. This one doesn't have a bird inlay on it, but it has a chip and no cork. That one, the cork is busted off. So I've looked at these for a while now. Oh, yeah. Here's some butter dishes. This is a big butter dish, like Jamie likes, except it doesn't fit on there. Must not be the right one. 97 cents, but it's not the right one. Then this one, this one does have the glass insert. And it is, $1.99. I'm gonna pass. And then a couple plastic ones. This is the first time I've seen this many butter dishes. Here's a bunch of glassware pitchers. So this one is intriguing to me. It's gotta be old. I don't, I don't know what it is. Try and flip this over. It's three ninety seven, and it's a Halls Superior Quality Made in USA. We might have to look that up before we leave. Oh, but there's a crack. See, there's a crack in there. It's just cute. It's. 
Put the rib on. Yeah, I made it to look that up. And then I spied this. It's wood. It's a sunflower. I think it's a napkin holder. Dollar ninety-seven. Anyone else remember this as a kid? This hung above my mom and dad's bed. And it brings back a lot of memories for me. Anyone else? This is the furniture section. Doesn't usually have a lot. This buffet has been here forever. So it's rounded on the top. I see they lowered the price. It was 60 some dollars. And it has some bad nastiness down there. That's why I still don't think it's worth 30, 35. And it opens up, full open up all the way down to the floor. It's stinky. And then there's a bar to hang your clothes. It closes. It'd be really cool to redo. But that nasty veneer on the bottom uh, not ready to tackle that. Okay, look at this thing. It's been here for a long time. It's comes up to here on me, which is above my belly. And it's metal. It's gothic. Very gothic. And $45. Lots of texture. Obviously, it doesn't sit square on the floor because it keeps bouncing. Yeah. That's not tempting me at all. Man section. I do like to come in this section and take a look and see what's rusty and crusty over here. There's a level. Maybe the old level. It's cracked. Uh, my husband was a construction guy. That would be kind of cool. And then look at that cabinet. That's not for sale. Not for sale. But, uh, if it was. That's cool. Here's boxes on the fifth shelf. Uh, those are cool. But they're four bucks. I do like the bee. It'd be cool if a plant was in there. All right, you want to see what I bought? I bought this plate, wood plate, dollar ninety-seven. Solid wood. Looks like it was a lazy Susan at one point. It's not anymore. Gonna get a good paint job. Fix it up. I also bought this. I believe it's a napkin holder with a sunflower on it. It's gonna get painted. It's gonna get this sunflower redone, I think. And that was also $1.97. I bought this bird sitting on a book. 
That was 97 cents. He's almost good as he is. I really like him. I think I just might enhance this book. And there's a little feather right here. I might enhance that a little bit. I'm a sucker for jars. I'm a sucker for jars, vases. This was 90, 98 cents. So this has some detail on the sides of it. Put a flower in there, put a leaf in there. Faux or real, doesn't matter. It's good. And then this pot. I have some wire vines I still need to plant. A wire vine is gonna look awesome in here. This was 67 cents. It does have a chip right there. I think I'm just gonna try and fix that chip up with some DIY paint. If you're looking for any items that I have here today or any DIY paint or IOD products, visit thepaintedphotographer.com. If you're local, head on over to Foreman's Farm Home in Metford, Wisconsin, and you can pick up all your supplies there. My thrifted items are also listed, and I'd love to know what your favorite was that I went shopping with. I know many of you have wanted to see where I shop because our prices are very reasonable. That's it. I'm sure there was many things that you've seen that you would have liked to have me to have picked up. Leave me a comment below and uh, until next time, happy painting. If you give me a like, please like and subscribe if you like this video. Please subscribe to this video if you liked it and